Okay, so part two are the items that I would... Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, so <laughs> this is stuff that I would not like need again for sure, but things that I might look at buying again if I was interested in it. I don't know. These, so I'm just going to go through these a little bit faster than the ones that I would definitely rebuy. So I put Gandalf. Apparently I melted two of these. I put one and I would definitely repurchase and then I put a second one in <laughs> a maybe. So this is a maybe. Uh, okay. I think the reason I put this in the maybe because the second time I melted this, I could smell more of the Magically Delicious. And I just don't know if I'm in love with Magically Delicious. So yeah. So this one, if you like coffee scents, I would definitely give that one a try. But apparently, I'd, I'm not sure whether I need to repurchase it or not. <laughs> this next one is Miss Gilmore. And this is 29 High Street, which is a Lush Dupe. Lotus Blossom and Orange Zest. This is not a need for me. It was just okay. Like, I didn't love it. But I also didn't hate it. You have to like Lush 29 High Street to like that one. The next one is Rosewood. This is Rosewood, Lemon Zest, Musk, and Orange Slices. I didn't, like, love this one. I didn't hate it. I got a strong throat first, and then it turned really light for some reason. This one has a definite different scent to it. It, it. I was trying to put on the back of here that it smelled like a cigar shop, but not tobacco. And there was a strong musk scent. So this is one that I don't love, but I don't hate it either. It's just one that I would maybe repurchase again. Stark. This one I actually really do like, but I, I warmed through like three of these. And the first time I warmed it, I absolutely loved it. And then the second time, I was just kind of like, it's good, but I don't need to repurchase it. It's vanilla bean champagne, or vanilla champagne with sweet berries. And then cotton candy. This is good if you just like a fruity type of scent, which, I mean, I think I feel like I kind of burned out on like these kind of scents because I had, I mean, like I said, I warmed through three starts. So and I have a lot of fizzy pop, champagne-y type scents. And they just all kind of smell the same after a while. Violet, which is peppermint, cotton candy, and blackberry. I just don't, I don't love this one, and I don't hate it. It's just okay to me. I know a lot of people like this one. The blackberry in here, for me, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like it goes, I don't know. I just, I just don't love this one for whatever reason. I don't hate it. I would, I mean, I would burn it or warm it again in my house. It's not like one of those offensive smells. Tree Beard, I really liked this one as well. Cream soda, cantaloupe, and a touch of pine. I think my issue with this one was it was really light. I think it, I didn't get cantaloupe. I got mostly the, it was like a sweet pine, and I think it was a medium scent throw. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason, it was just like a sweet pine scent to me. So there's that. But I just remember the throw not being there, so I, I didn't love it. This one I just recently talked about. I did it. It was in my last warm reviews. This is Chucky. This is Vanilla Bean and Honey Covered Clementines. I didn't hate this one, but I remember somebody walked in and said that this smelled like a gas station bathroom like the cleaner they use at a gas station bathroom. <laughs> I was like, okay, well that's not good. It does, it is honey dominated, but it's not like when you warm it, it's not, it, that's to me, that's not the first thing that like pops out at you. It is, you do smell honey, but it's not super like overly strong honey. That's one that I feel like I really, you know, may or may not purchase again. I don't know. Daily Planet, Starbucks coffee, French baguette, and brown sugar. I wanted to really like this one. This one to me, let's see, what do I have? FB, oh, French baguette comes out strong. Maybe I did like this one more than I thought. I don't, I can't remember now. Maybe I would repurchase this one for sure. I can't quite remember this one. This one reminded me a lot of Harry a bit. Uh, Harry is French baguette and magically delicious. I remember the French baguette was pretty strong in here which I think I would have liked a little bit more coffee, but I can't remember that one very well. I obviously, if I don't remember it, then I'm not gonna like wanna go out and repurchase it again. 
The Grudge. This is Blueberry Muffin, B uh, La, Vanilla Bean, Sandalwood, and Fall Leaves. What does that say? Oh, Vanilla Bean Pot, Sandalwood, and Fall Leaves. Uh, this one I did like. It wasn't super strong on the Blueberry Muffin. I remember I was really scared of the Blueberry Muffin. So this is one that I would probably look at repurchasing again just because it smells a lot like fall. It actually turned out pretty good. I put, um, yeah, still smelled like a toned down blueberry muffin. If I put my nose over it, I could smell the sandalwood. So, yeah, but this one you can smell like that fall leaves type of scent. And it's really nice. All right, the jackal. I think I have another one of these. I think I warmed this too soon because I did a, like a small little series about things that I thought were overhyped. I hate using that word overhyped. I, ugh when I like throw a punch myself, but that's the only word I can think of. <laughs> I guess popular sense, like the sense that some people go ape over and you're just like. So what I did is I grabbed a bunch out of my stash that I thought people went ape over. And I think I just warmed this too soon because I remember thinking, I don't love this. Like I remember nothing like the zucchini bread really wasn't coming out for me. So I think after maybe after a little bit of cure time, it might be better. I'll have to try it again. I have a second one. This one was a lot of blackberry to me. So, uh, Bandit, we're not doing that right now. Okay, The Office. Some people might be surprised to see this in here. I really like this one. This is vanilla bean, sugar cookie, and the world's best boss coffee. So, the thing about this one is I wish it had more coffee in it. It's more of a bakery to me. Like, to me, the coffee is not very dominant in here. And originally that's what I had purchased it for. So I don't love the office. Like I have some more of it. And what I'm gonna end up doing is mixing it with more coffee. Cause I, I want the coffee to come out with that bakery scent. So for me, that is not like, I think when I'm done with office, I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. It's a great, it's a great scent. I just don't, it's not my favorite. I don't hate it and I don't love it either. Alice was another one that was pretty good, but I don't know if I need again fizzy pop, ap apricot slices, and raspberry glaze. This one was just a nice, again, fruity fizzy pop. Like I said, it kind of does smell a little bit like Stark. And what was the other one that has like a fruity note? I'm trying to think. I can't remember. So it's pretty good, but I don't need it again. The other one is Flame Princess. This one I was kind of on the fence about because I think I did really like this one. Tangerine Toasted Marshmallow and Fizzy Pop. But I can't remember. I put Strong and Good, Tangy and Sweet. And it wasn't too dominant on Fizzy Pop. You know what? I think, <clears throat> I think actually this would be a repurchase. I'm going to put that over in the other little pile. But I, I do remember liking the Flame Princess now that I think about it. Hey, you're going to need to sit down. <laughs> he's giving me the he's giving me the eye. <laughs> Are you staring at me? Anyways, if you want some bandit time, there you go. Big Brother, this is another one again with it's like the sweet berries, cotton candy frosting, vanilla bean, champagne, and love spell. I bought this one because I wanted to see what love spell smelled like mixed with some things. And this one is kind of like Stark, the other one that I showed you with mixed with love spell. So that's kind of what I got from Big, Big Brother. I didn't love it and I didn't hate it. I'm gonna keep saying that about everyone. Okay, you guys know. I didn't love it, I didn't hate it about almost every one of these. Harley Quinn, this one was kind of a surprise to me. I thought I was really gonna like this one, but it's just kind of okay for me. Pink sugar, blackberry jam, and vanilla sugar waffle cone. I was mostly getting, let's see, the blackberry and pink sugar. This one hasn't had a lot of time to cure either, so I don't know. I'm gonna, I have another like two of those, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of time. I think I did put this was one of my favorites, Mr. Gold, but I've kind of changed, like my nose has kind of changed. This is Suntan Lotion and Golden Sands. I do like this one. This one is really different. And Golden Sands, I believe, is a Yankee dupe. This one is really different. You have to be in the right mood for it, though, because that Suntan Lotion can come off 
a little heavy. It's a pretty heavy, strong scent, so you do have to be careful with that one, but I do like that during certain times. Okay, the next one I have is Amazon Princess. This one was just okay for me. It was just more of like a fruity, sweet scent, like the ocean air and raspberry cake wasn't really like dominant to me on warm, so for that reason, it's just kind of basic. I mean, on cold, I do smell like there's ocean air, but I feel like on warm, I like mostly what like the dominant notes to me were fruity, fruity sweet. It probably makes it a little bit different with that ocean air and raspberry cake. So it's not completely like a sweet fruity, but to me, that's mostly what, what my nose got. This is Dr. Jekyll Fizzy Papaya Soda and Sweet Lollipop. Uh, this one, this one's fine. It's really, again, another fizzy, like, sweet, whoops, sweet, um, trying to remember, like a soda scent, but for me, sweet lollipop, I don't know what it is about sweet lollipop. Anything with, like, lolly or sweet lollipop, I, I just, I'm not, like, super in love with. This one I remember was really nice. French baguette, whipped cream, and lemon eclair. I probably leaned more towards buying this one again. This one was pretty. That lemon eclair, something about lemon eclair was, makes it really creamy. It's mostly French baguette though. I don't remember, was this strong? Oh yeah, this one was strong. So I probably would lean more towards buying that one again. Okay, Baba Duke, which is cola, pumpkin ice cream, and frosted cupcakes. Out of this one, I mostly got cola. That's really the only thing I smelled out of this one was a cola scent. So that one for me was not like a super win. The next one I have, and I'd probably lean more towards buying this one again, Haymitch, which is Frangelico, or Frangelico? Chocolate chip cookies and ice cream scoop bread. Somebody dang it told me what Frangelica was and now I forget. Like a hazelnut coffee? Liquor maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so this one was, it reminds me a lot of Rockettes, but it's different. It's a little bit different. I like Rockettes a lot better, but I wouldn't, like I'd probably buy that one again if it came up. The next one I have, surprisingly, I really like this one. Oz, which is ginger ale, key lime, custard and birthday cake pie birth and birthday cake pie this one i remember i don't know why i like this one but this one was just really good this one surprised me i don't know that i need it again but yeah this one if you like ginger ale scents i would try this one just even if you don't like key lime i feel like let's see it's in there, but it mixes with the ginger ale really nicely. Come here, buddy. Bennett, do you want a treat? Come here. Huh. Beauty and the Beast. I know a lot of people like this one. I'm so-so. Sweet blackberries and magically delicious. This is another one that was one of my overhyped scents. I, was, I said I was going to let it cure and then come back to it. Just because I felt like it wasn't cured enough to where all the dimensions were coming out. I feel like when you let things cure a little bit, they kind of become more dimensional, if that makes any kind of sense. Governor was one that I used to love, but now I'm just kind of so-so. Ice lemonade and clean cotton. It's still good, but it's just kind of half and half of clean cotton and um, sweet lemonade. This one is really strong. I think that's probably why I don't love it as much. It's just really, really strong. You have to be careful with this one. I do still like this one a lot. This one I'd probably lean more towards buying again. I just, for some reason, I was scared of clean cotton. I got scared of clean cotton when I melted, I don't know, one of these scents. Which one? I think it's in here, actually. Oh, maybe not. I don't know, I melted something with clean cotton. Oh, Pond. Pond, and it like it made me sick. I don't know what the deal was with that. Nothing's impossible. Almond marzipan, vanilla ice cream, and vanilla sugar waffle cone. This one was nice. This was more of heavy on the vanilla sugar waffle cone, so it made it kind of like a, made it kind of like a, reminded me a little bit of a circus concession, even though I know that's not what circus concession is. 
And then Grey's Anatomy. This one I'd probably lean more towards getting again. This is really nice. It's not one of my super top favorites, but I do like it. It's just a good coffee. I, I'm trying to remember if that pecan pie comes out at all. I think it does, which is probably why I don't love it as much as I do some other coffee scents. Uh, Tate is Sweater Weather, Cotton Candy, and Blackberry. Again, I just, this was not one that I, I don't know. I, I don't think I love Sweater Weather that much, and it just wasn't one of my, like, top favorites. So that one, I, I probably wouldn't repurchase Tate again, to be honest. But, I mean, if I had it in my collection, I would warm it again, for sure. C3PO, this is Honey Toffee Chunks, which is uh, Honey I Wash the Kids Lush Dupe and Buttery Brown Sugar Cookies. So this is C3PO. And this one, this one I did like. I'm just kind of on the fence about it. Like I wanted more of the buttery brown sugar cookies to come out, but yeah, it just like for me, it was just more of like a honey I wash the kids. This one's kind of funny, Morning Monster, which is uh, coffee, butter brickle, and creamy cheesecake. I have a band bag in this one. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that it's in my, maybe I would buy it again, I don't know. I have a lot more to warm through, so I'll be able to evaluate it more, but I didn't love or like, well, I think I kind of more on the loved this one. Not loved love, but liked it. I don't remember. I, I need to warm through my band bag and see. Oh, Pond. Okay, so this is the one that kind of made me sick. So I was kind of like, well, I could warm it in the bathroom. But I really liked this one when it first started going. But for some reason, that clean laundry, which I think was clean cotton. It smelled like clean cotton to me it really started to get like in my throat and I was like, I wasn't like loving that. It was like a little too strong for me. So you have to be careful with this one. But Jaws, I like the Jaws scent. This one I put, let's see. Oh, super strong clean cotton Jaws at first. Then all I could smell was clean cotton. So that was the issue with that one. Basically the Jaws burned off and then all, all I could get was clean cotton. Okay, almost done with the things that I would repurchase or not, you know, that I'm kind of on the fence about. Dobby, I really want to love this one. Linen Sock, Ocean Mist, and Dune Grass, but I just, there's, I don't hate it and I don't love it. It's just one of those that I could either, I feel like I want to mix this with something. I, I think that would make it more likable for me. It's just got this funky note. I think it's the Dune Grass. Is really just throwing it off for me or maybe it's the linen sock I don't know there's just something about this one that just doesn't work for me but I feel like I want to mix it with something if I mixed it with something I feel like I could make it better so I also finished a office uh, band bag I think someone I bought a D stash off of someone or no someone sent this to me dang it if I can't remember who it is I have the worst memory so I am sorry like I'm sure, like, I know I, I talked about you and when I got this, and now I can't remember who. That's just lovely. I'm so sorry. She sent me half a band bag for, like, free or something. I remember I purchased a D-stash off of her, and she sent me half a band bag. I thought it was the sweetest thing. So I got through that because I wanted to warm through it. That one is just kind of like a maybe, like I said, about the clamshell. So cappuccino and we have starbucks coffee now i do like her starbucks coffee quite a bit and the uh, cappuccino as well i'm just finding with the potion packs i just don't blend as much as i want to like i really want to be a blender but i just don't find myself grabbing for the potion packs i have a ton of them too starbucks coffee is a little bit stronger and then cappuccino obviously because it's mixed with isn't cappuccino like mixed with milk and or cream or something so it's a little bit less strong I do have a few Starbucks coffee though because I do like mixing it with like the office like I said and other things so this is my pile of things that I would you can see it goes two two rows back that's the stuff that I would maybe uh, repurchase and so some of the things in there I said, like, I, I probably would repurchase. But some of them are just kind of like, if I saw them, I probably would try them again, yada, yada. Okay, I'm going to stop this. And then the last part is going to be really short of the ones that I will not repurchase. Like, definitely no.
Okay, I'll be right back. 